Hi guys, this is Coach Tony Morgan. In this video, we're going to go through the programming on this Drayton Digistat 3 RF wireless room thermostat. Now, this particular model, it's not actually made anymore. They've um, updated it. But it's one way you come across at this particular type and you might have to reprogram it. So we'll just go through this particular version. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to press this set button here. Press that once like that. And you can see the clock flashing there. So that's basically the clock setting. So that's what comes up first. Then we're going to press this, yes. And you can see it flashing there, that's your hours. So you can adjust your hours by pressing these two buttons here. That's, you see it move like that and gone back. So once you've set your hours what you want, then you press this button here. And then it's flipped over to the minutes. Again, adjusting it, the plus and minus button to your design minutes. Once you've done that, you press the set again. This is the day of the week. So again, you adjust that by up and down and then press set again. So what you've got flashing now, these are your programs. Now, once you've got this flashing like this, for your programs, you're gonna press this button here. So now you can see at one to five, that means um, Monday to Friday, basically. So you press, let me see, you set here, and then what you've got flashing is the temperature. So that's your on temperature, which that's about correct, about 23, 22. You can adjust it if you desire by pressing that up and down like that. So I'm gonna leave it on 23. So once you do that, press yes. Sorry, press set. And then you go on to the time. So that's your first time on. So it's at seven o'clock in the morning. So as I said, you want to adjust it. You can press these two buttons to adjust the time for your first on. So once you've done that, press set. Now this is your off time and off temperature. So the first flashing is your off temperature. So 15 is about okay. Then you press set again, and that's your off time. So you adjust that to your desired time by pressing these two. Then this is your next on. Again, we've got at 23. And then press set again. Adjust that to what you want. Now, this is your last off in the day at night time, so that's right down at eight degrees. And press set again, and then you just that for your last off in the evening. So what we've got now flashing, um, we've got, you can see at one basically there. So that's, you can adjust each day if you wish. But I'm gonna skip through this by pressing set so we get to this okay on the weekend settings it's slightly different so what happens the um, temperature settings what we put in from the Monday to Friday we adjust it but on the weekend settings the temperature settings are non-adjustable because they're already using the same temperature settings we've already set I'll show you to make it a bit more simple so we're going to do yes so you can see it skips straight to the time and the temperature is already there. And at 23 degrees is what I already put in from the previous setting, so it just carried it forward. So you're only going to adjust the time. So again, you can do plus and minus to adjust your time. So once you've done that, again, the 15 degrees already set, so we can't adjust it. You set your time for your off plus or minus, press set again. Your next on, already set at 23, adjust your next on, and your final off 
again already pre-done at 8 degrees adjust the last off we're not going to use that setting we're going to use that one and you back round to normal operation just one more thing um, this select button this you can see it's on the timer that means it's on the program or automatic if you press this select button it's gone to the moon that means it's off at night and if you press the one that means it's constant the other thing to bear in mind the temperature here that's the reading temperature right now of the room so if you want to bring the boiler on you have to press this is the plus button to turn that temperature up like that and you see the flame symbol come on so that's when the unit is on and it's sending a signal to the receiver so that's if you want to use it manually so again you can turn it down you can see it's gone off so that's it on this short video on how to program this Drayton Wireless RF3 wireless room thermostat. Right, just a quick one for guys who are looking for training. Um, we, we're introducing the online training program and we're going to be launching one of our free bar repair web classes. So you'll see a link below this video and you can um, attend one of our classes. It's absolutely free and um, hopefully, hopefully you can learn a lot from that. So if you click on the link below, and um, we'll see you at one of our free web classes. So that's it from me, Coach Sonny Morgan, and I'll see you on the next video.